Hey everyone, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday right around the corner, it's time to start prepping your WooCommerce store to make the most of these massive sale events. In this video, I'll be sharing tips on marketing, how to actually set up storewide sales on WooCommerce, as well as more technical tips to really crush your sales goals this holiday season. So we have three main parts to cover in this video, but if you stick around to the end, I even have a bonus step for you. The first step is planning your sale and marketing it. Second step is adding the discounts to your store. And the third step is speeding up the shopping and checkout process on your site. First off, let's talk about marketing and promotions. Because if you get this right, you can cash in on what is literally the biggest online shopping event of the entire year. Stores will anticipate at least a 30% increase in traffic, with the biggest day being Cyber Monday. For context, in 2021, the average customer spent $430 during the entire sale, so you really don't want to miss out. With that in mind, we advise you to start teasing deals and sales at least two weeks in advance. Send emails, post on social media, run ads, and create some banners on your site to build anticipation. You might have noticed that besides Black Friday weekend itself, some merchants are choosing to extend the length of their sale as much as the entire month of November in some cases. This may not be right for you, but consider at least analyzing your competition and decide if you want to arrive ahead of them to the party. Remember, many marketing teams are planning this sale for the entire year, so if you're just getting up to speed, I recommend starting by creating urgency with flash sales, limited quantity deals, and countdown timers. Then please don't forget about your loyal and existing customers. Offer tiered discounts, such as 30% off for email subscribers and 40% off for loyalty members. Always try to give customers incentives to sign up and buy directly from you. Another trick is to give sneak peeks at some of the deals people can expect, releasing some on a rolling basis leading up to Black Friday. And make sure you're planning and implementing some or all of the following. Coupon bundles, free gifts with purchases, and BOGOs. These are buy one, get one free offers. There are some awesome plugins which you can use to set up these storewide discounts, and I'll show you one of these in just a moment. But I can already guess what your next question will be. How much of a discount should you offer? Well, that's gonna depend a lot on the industry that you're in, what other sales you've run throughout the year, and what your profit margins are normally like. From our own experience, for example, we've experimented with 30% and 50% discounts before, with the larger discounts actually bringing in larger total order values. I understand that this might not be an option if you sell physical products, but don't be afraid to make this your biggest sale event of the entire year. Now that we have a plan in place, we need to actually implement the discounts across our site. And that's where we need some handy plugins, because we simply can't handle these sorts of tasks manually. As always, you can find links to any plugin mentioned in the description below. The main plugin I'd like to highlight is WooCommerce Sitewide Sales by Stranger Studios. This is genuinely an all-in-one Black Friday solution for Woo stores. As the name implies, you can set up site-wide sales without the need for coupon codes or customer login. But it goes further than that. You can also set up sales for individual product categories or single products. And the best part is you can use the plugin in combination with the block editor to create banners and landing pages for the duration of the sale. Then you can schedule these discounts and changes to begin automatically at whatever time you choose. It's also easy for beginners to figure out, as there's really only one settings page to get it set up. Try this out for free for the first 30 days using the link below. And get this, all paid plans will work on an unlimited number of sites. How cool is that? Now let's talk for a minute about the psychology of online shopping and sales. One of the main reasons why Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales are so successful is because of the urgency created by the limited offers. This sense of urgency leads to impulse decision-making, which is good news for you if you have everything set up well. Now put yourself in your customer's shoes and honestly check just how easy your shopping and checkout process is. Then ask yourself, is it truly optimized? There's tons of research which makes it clear that confused customers will give up and leave. So make each step of their journey clear and helpful. 
One way to ensure this is with a filter plugin, such as our very own WooCommerce product filters. This plugin ensures a clear and easy path from your main store page to any product the customer may be looking for. You can see here how much easier it is to find products with filters applied, which will be greatly appreciated by your customers. But there's another problem with the basic WooCommerce setup. Customers need to visit individual product pages to learn more about the item or edit quantities. Barn2 actually offers two solutions to this. By using QuickView Pro, customers can instead see a light box with more product info and quantity pickers. Alternatively, you may like WooCommerce Express shop page, which simply adds those quantity boxes and variation options to the main shop page like this. We're almost there, but to really close the sale, we need a faster way to check out. With WooCommerce Fastcart, customers will be taken straight to the cart or even the checkout when they select an item, making the whole process lightning fast. And because it's a light box, they can still see the store's products and add more to their cart with ease. There are other ways to set up this plugin for normal everyday use, but during Black Friday, the most direct options are recommended. Check the description for links to all the aforementioned plugins and enjoy great discounts when you bundle multiple products together at checkout. For all you loyal viewers, my bonus tip is to consider adding a last chance sale. This would take place during the week after the main sale ends. But don't advertise this at all, simply put a banner up on your store and this will help you to collect any remaining customers who might have thought that they'd actually missed your sale but still want a discount. Then when the sale ends, don't just sit back and relax. It's time to evaluate the results of that sale. While everything is still fresh in your mind, go through the data and use it to inform your plans for next year. I suggest creating a document where you can put all of your findings and your future self will be very grateful. Once again, links and tutorials are below the video. Just click the description box to expand it. Or watch this video to see how to set up the Fastcart plugin on your site. And as always, thanks for watching.